Well, hey everybody, Pastor Jeremy here with you for week four of our virtual Sunday school. I'm so happy to be with you guys all again today. Um, today, we're going to find ourselves in the first book of the Bible once again, Genesis, the book of Genesis. But this time we are in chapter 11. Remember all the things we've learned so far in the book of Genesis? We've learned about how God created the heavens and the earth. He created everything. Um, and then he created human beings, right? He created each and every one of us. He created the, the first human beings, Adam and Eve. And remember, they lived in this perfect place called the Garden of Eden. And when they were living there, remember who came in? That, that sneaky snake came in and caused Adam and Eve to sin. Um, and then we talked about Noah and the ark and how God had to bring all this flood water, all of these, these waters onto the earth in order to wash away all of the evil, all of the sin, all the bad stuff that, that had, had come into this world. Uh, but he saved Noah and his family, right? Because Noah was what we call righteous. Noah was righteous. He was right before God. He was, he was good before God. And then today we're going to get to a place called the Tower of Babel. Now, you might have heard your parents use that word babble before. They might talk about somebody who just keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and will, will never, never be quiet. Um, and they might say, well, that person just babbles on all the time. Or you might hear people talk about like a, a baby who uh, it hasn't really learned how to talk yet, but is making lots and lots of sounds, how they're babbling about something. That's where the word babble comes from, from the Tower of Babel, that the Lord uh, called this place that the people were trying to build. Well, basically, when we get to verse 11, Noah and his family, um, Noah's children, all of their children, and their children's children and so forth had, had now populated the earth. And there's lots of people living on the earth again. And um, these people all spoke the same language. They spoke a language called Hebrew. And that Hebrew language, by the way, was the very same language that Jesus learned to speak when he was a little boy. Well, this language was great because everybody on the earth spoke the same language. And that made it very easy for them to work together. So the people who were all living on the earth decided, you know what, let's, let's build some bricks out of some mud. Let's bake it all together. And then let's use those bricks and let's build this beautiful city for ourselves. So they got together and they started working and they built this big city and then they decided, you know what, wouldn't it be cool if we could build a tower so tall that, that everybody who lived around us would have to look up to us uh, as if, you know, to say somehow they were more important than everybody else. Uh, they wanted to be famous. They wanted to, everybody to have, to have to look up to them and respect them and know them. And so they got to work building this tower. And, and then they realized maybe we could build this tower so high that it leads us right up to God. Well, when the people were building this tower, there was something going on in their hearts that God calls envy. And I don't know if you've heard that word before. But envy is a word that means when there is something in our hearts, there's something in our hearts that, um, you know, we really want something so badly, but we don't have that thing. Uh, for example, let me give you an example. Has anybody ever been playing with a toy? And you look at that toy and you go, I want that toy so badly, I would do just about anything to have that toy. In fact, I want to just go over there and take that toy from them and have it for myself. Now, maybe you've never felt that way before. Maybe you have. Um, have you ever maybe um, thought, boy, you know, somebody got uh, something for Christmas or for their birthday that I didn't get. Man, I really want that thing. I wish I could just go over there and take it. That is envy. When we wish that um, we were, we either were better than somebody, we had something that, that they have that we don't have, 
uh, when we want to be more, have more than other people. And so God recognized it. Obviously, he didn't recognize. He knew that this is bad. This is bad when his people feel this way. Because we're supposed to love one another and share everything we have. So God had to do something to stop this plan. This plan to build this tower and make everybody else envy them. And so he figured, well, if I make it so they can't talk to one another, then it'll be really hard for them to build this tower. So that's what he did. He mixed up their language. He made all the different languages we have in our world. He made it so that instead of everybody just speaking Hebrew, maybe some people now spoke Chinese or, or Greek or uh, Italian or English. I don't know. But he made it so that everybody spoke uh, a very different language and couldn't understand each other. So therefore, it was sort of like Fred over here was saying to, to, to George over there, hey, go put those bricks over there. And George is like, I, don't, I can't understand what you're saying. So they couldn't finish building the tower. Well, God worked in this way, and it seems confusing, but God had to do this. He had to find a way to stop his people from having this feeling in their hearts, this bad feeling, this feeling of envy, uh, even of greed, and instead replace it with love. And so this place that we talk about is called the Tower of Babel because the people were speaking to each other. They were working together to try to build this thing, but they were doing this and it was going to harm them. It was going to be bad for them. So God had to confuse the language in that moment. And that's why we call it the Tower of Babel because basically God made it so that the people were kind of babbling to one another. They couldn't understand what they were saying. You know, what this story really reminds us of is this, that God has promised to give us absolutely everything we need. God has promised to give us a, a house to live in and food to eat and parents to love us, and friends to play with. Uh, he's promised to give us a really good, smart brain so that we can learn well when we're in school. And, and so everything we need, God has said he will give to us. We don't have a reason to have to envy what other people have or try to get it in mean or, or sinful ways because God has given us what we need. Now, sometimes, right, we think, yeah, but I'd still like to have something better or, or a little bit more. Is that necessarily bad? No. It's not bad to want more in your life. It's not bad to try to want to become better, to, to, to learn more, to do more, uh, to maybe even have more. Where it's bad is when your heart turns. When in your heart you say, I'll do anything, even if it's a bad thing, in order to get whatever it is you're trying to get. God says, I want you to love one another, not look at each other and say, man, how come he has that and I don't? God says, I want you to share with each other, not look at them and say, ha ha, I've got this and you don't. And so the Tower of Babel reminds us to love one another, to share one another, and ultimately that God is in control of everything. Even the words we speak, all the stuff we have, all the things we need. It, God's got it all in his control. I hope that uh, you guys have a great week this week, and I hope you'll look forward to next week's video. And uh, don't forget to take a look at all the other fun stuff we have loaded for you this week as well. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a great week.